Now we'll have something about a MySQL because we are going to connect with the database MySQL. MySQL is a very popular relational database management system, it is RDBMS what you call, that is commonly used in any PHP based web application. You can use any other databases as well like MS SQL, Oracle and Access etc. But the, the default embedded uh, always use the MySQL. It uses a language called SQL. This is structure query language which has two sections. I'll just come to it to add access process on your data within the database. PHP language has built-in APIs for accessing MySQL server and all the other details of the MySQL like database, tables and firing a query on it and all. So what all these APIs are providing? These API, APIs are providing many functions to help you to work with DDL language and DML language. The DDL language is the name says data definition language which will allow you to create tables, uh, database constraint, views, procedure, function, triggers and all. This is the definition means the creating the structure of a database. So whatever you want to do with the structure, you have DDL language, definition language, you can alter the structure, you can drop the structure, you can recreate it, you can do anything with the structure by using a data definition language. Then you have data manipulation language. This data manipulation language is based on playing with the data itself. So the data, you are going to add the data into your structure, you can modify it, you can delete it, you can reuse it anywhere, wherever you want. So it it's contains few uh, uh, syntax or few terms like insert, update, delete and you have many others which we will not be uh, using out here or I will not be giving you the details of it. When you go for actual SQL language uh, tutorial, you will understand each and everything with the basic of it. Now, as uh, uh, PHP provides the built-in APIs for MySQL, we'll, we'll see what all functions it supports or the few of them are here which we will be using to uh, 